All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we're going to be talking about a few different ETFs and the overall market, but more specifically as well, what exactly I bought with my investing account because I just bought some more WiMAX. We're going to dive into exactly how much I bought using my calculator and show you how much that's going to be boosting my current monthly income because it was a very substantial buy and I'm going to tell you exactly why I did it in this video. So if that does sound good, we're currently up to 5,392 subscribers, only 27 subscribers in the past 28 days. That's under a subscriber a day. Let's see if we can get that up. I know I've been very late with my posting, haven't posted in four days just due to my job. But at the current time being, I actually have some crazy news. I'm quitting my job and I'm starting a new one that's going to allow me to post more videos. So very exciting. Nonetheless, let's get into this current video. So my portfolio on Questrade is sitting just under $14,000. And that's due to the fact that I have been investing a, a decent amount of cash or at least putting in a lot of cash in my portfolio. So you can see here using Norber's Gambit, I took 447 shares of dlr.to and converted it to dlr.u.to that's just kind of like what i do in order to avoid paying all these conversion fees on quest trade and so basically i converted about six thousand dollars canadian to six thousand um four and a half thousand dollars american which is still you know six thousand dollars canadian but i invested that onto ymax and i bought 237 shares of WiMAX. So if we were to just do that calculation, 273 shares times WiMAX, most recent dividend of 59 cents, just to show you here exactly how much this is going to boost my monthly income, it is going to boost my monthly income by $161. And when we multiply that actually by the Canadian exchange rate, it's going to boost my monthly income by $220 Canadian, which I think is fantastic. This puts me at a total share count for WiMAX at 576 at an average share price of $17.83, which I'm very happy about that average share price. When I look at WiMAX's price chart history, you can see here that it's been trending down for the majority, but I do believe that long term it will trend up or at least sideways like SPY, because I do believe that for the most part, YMAX does correlate well with SPY, which is the SP 500. You can see here over the past month, SPY has been taken a pretty big hit. And so that's exactly why I wanted to buy some more YMAX because YMAX took a hit. It went from $18, paid out a couple dividends and is trending all the way down at $16.71. I was very fortunate that my buy actually came in at $16.79. So I got pretty close to the lows in terms of WiMAX on yesterday and in terms of that buy, but definitely looking to take advantage of any market dips. And WiMAX is an ETF that I'm looking to buy all the time. It's because in my opinion, I view it as something diversified. It has a great dividend of 42%, a huge dividend, and it holds a bunch of underlying ETFs like TSLY, Kony, NVDY, and SQY. And you can see here, SQY down five and a half percent, NVDY, NVDY about 4%, Kony 8%, TSLY 8%. These are huge dips that I want to avoid. And you could see here, WiMAX went down a pretty substantial amount, about 3%. It's a little more volatile than the overall market, but it's not as volatile as the rest of these YieldMax ETFs, which is exactly what I want to avoid because I'm putting in such large sums of money or what I view as large sums of money. And you know, we're gonna continue to invest, continue to grow this monthly income. Currently, we're sitting at about $340 in monthly income, which is all produced pretty much by the 576 shares of WiMAX. So that's really the reason why I bought. I seen a huge dip in the market. I don't wanna buy any individual yield max ETFs. I only really wanna buy indexes or things that kind of correlate with the index, which I believe WiMAX does a good job at. And I do believe that in the future, when, the S when SPY slowly does start to recover, and we do see start to see a nice uptrend, because right now we're in kind of choppy periods. WiMAX really does well when the overall market is just in a nice flush uptrend. And for the majority of, of time, the market will be in a nice flush uptrend. But you could see here, we're entering into a choppy period where the market's not sure where it wants to go. Does it want to go higher? It's hitting about this 
$560 point and it's reflecting down, coming back and down. So this is not great for YMAX. YMAX feeds off of great linear growth from the market. And when we see that, I do believe that YMAX share price is going to increase substantially, but I also believe that their dividend is going to increase because as they're as their share price increases, their dividend will increase too. When they're at a share price of $16.71, they're going to be paying out smaller dividends like $0.60 cents or $0.50, cents, $0.55. Cents. But as their share price increases and they're able to take out more from their share price because every distribution is taken from the share price, I think we'll see $0.70, or 70 cent dividends once again and the higher $0.60 cent dividends once again. So that's my thinking around YMAX and exactly why I bought. That's exactly how much I bought. I bought 273 shares, which is going to pay me that $220 Canadian more every single month. With this income, all I'm doing is reinvesting. All this income is going to be reinvested and I'm going to continue to pour cash into my account to grow and grow and grow because compound interest is your friend. It's what you want to earn and not pay as most you know, successful investors say, but uh, maybe I might even look to trim my SPXS position as the market trends down because it's not a long term hold by any means. This SPXS is a three times short, three times bear on the SP 500. And as the SP 500 drops, it is going to increase in value currently above my current average price, which I will then look to offload and put that money back into YMAX and repeat, do it all over again. So, this was just a short video to tell you exactly what I'm doing with my investments. Very simple, only investing in YMAX because it's stable, a lot more stable than the other ETF, still pays a great dividend. And uh, I feel comfortable putting a decent amount of money into it at the moment. So please keep um, an eye on my journey. We're up to 5,392 subscribers. Let me know what kind of investments you guys are investing in at this time as the market trends down. Any opportunities I'm always looking to be a part of. So let me know. And I will keep you guys posted for anything with mine. So please do take care. Please have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video.